Hello guys. Mm. What are we doing? Somebody's asked about chess voice, um, making it sound balanced and even. One of the problems people have with chess voice is they tend to, if anything, they want to either over squeeze or under squeeze the compression because um, one of the things that's really tricky with chess voice is doing too much. Um, a clean, clear, free sound and chest voice is uh, very easy to do and almost too easy for some people who want to, um, you know, basically fix things, if that makes sense. Um, so when we have... The secret is, is that... I have got a uh, a uh, 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 I've got clean closure there, yeah? The chords are closed. But the problem people have is when they start, they kind of have, you know, ma 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 And they, they hear, watch videos about finding closure and compression and all this stuff. And so immediately they over adjust. And they end up with like a ma 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 it sounds so squeezy. It sounds so squeezy. Um, and what's happened is they've made the right adjustment, but they've gone too far the other way. So think about it this way. With compression, you want just enough to make the desired sound and no more. Yeah? So when I want this clean tone, mm. ma, 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 ma. I'm going from ma, 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 ma. I'm just closing the chords enough so that I have that nice clean sound. The same thing happens on vocal fry. You hear people, you know, complaining about vocal fry or, you know, saying, well, uh, or they find, just happen to find vocal fry in their mid-range or something and, and they don't know how to get rid of it. Usually that's the case of this happening. Ma, 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 too much squeeze, too much squeeze in the chest. Yeah? Too much squeeze. So, one of the key things that learning singers have to grasp and um, one of the tough things to get across and tough things to learn is is that the margin for error, the margin for the, the margins that you're working are very narrow and small typically relative to what a learner is used to. They make these huge broad adjustments and they end up going one way to the other and swinging like a seesaw. And one month they're like there's no compression at all in the voice. The next month they're like, everything's so squeezed. And then they're let, letting go again. And it's like just a nightmare for them. The thing is, we've got to compress all that down to a narrower kind of spectrum of adjustment. So when we're going from ma 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 to ma 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 yeah, it's not much. Most people, when they talk, have just the right amount of compression. So the best way you can find it typically is just to go, hey, don't think about it as singing, which trips people up generally, just make the sound. I'm talking to you like this, so when I go, ma, 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 it's in exactly the same spot. If I see a change, and I go, ma, 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 yeah? I'm trying to sing. I'm not just trying to make the sound. Ma. Ma, 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 That's it, yeah? So, typically, to get the right amount of compression, stop thinking about singing, just make the sounds, and kind of feel your way in there, yeah? Nice and gently and subtly, you've got to kind of lean in. The adjustments are more kind of squishy and kind of, you're trying to mould your voice into shape, rather than force it into shape, yeah? So when the adjustments are too big, you're going to just go all over the place. So with chest, the reason it's tricky for some people is, again, it's easier to make adjustments that are too big, too broad, rather than making the subtle adjustment 